Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm heading out in the woods today and uh, I'm going to do uh, a review of the CRKT Woods Kogan T Tomahawk and uh, mine's a little bit different than what you normally see because I modified mine. And I'm going to kind of go over the modifications I did to it and we're going to see how it performs because I feel what I've done to it has really improved the overall design of that tomahawk. So I'm going to do that and then um, of course no outing to the woods would be complete without um, cooking some lunch over an open fire. And uh, I've got a steak I'm going to cook today. The steak sounds really good to me. So, if you're interested, stay tuned because we're going to have some fun. Confused. Do you see all them turkey moving through there? <laughs> I got them to stop. Now they're hanging out on the other side of this, um, this little valley. And uh, a couple of them are peeking back at me. Let's see what I'm all about. But the rest of them. I moved into the brush. Oh, April can't come soon enough. Hmm. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking at today. This is the CRKT Woods Kogan uh, Tomahawk and it's a little the one that I have is a little bit different than what you're gonna find in the store because what I've done is I've actually modified this thing if you look at this thing online you're gonna see that it has a very pronounced hammer pull on the back it comes out about an inch inch and a quarter from where I have it here um, and it doesn't come with this kydex sheath of course so what I did is I actually cut this thing off and uh, the reason I did that is because I really felt that uh, from the initial testing when I got this, uh, it felt really heavy. Um, it felt clunky, kind of awkward. It just didn't swing very well. And it also kind of fatigued uh, my hand and my arms a little bit. I just, I didn't care for it. There was something about it that wasn't right. It was off, the balance was off. Um, so by cutting that hammer pole off, I've lightened it. Um, so it swings a lot quicker. Uh, another thing I had to do is sharpen this sucker. It was not very sharp um, from the factory. So what I did is I took this to um, my uh, work sharp sander, knife sharpener, and used a belt on it and, and got a, a good grind on it so it's nice and sharp. And I also stripped off the finish that it came with and um, did a little bit of a, a mustard and vinegar patina just to give it a, a more aged look and also help protect that steel. Uh, so what I want to do today is take this thing out here and start chopping with it and see how it performs. Uh, I feel like from what I've, what I've messed with at home, it's going to be a really great performer for the woods and uh, kind of fill the niche of a longer handled hatchet, uh, but not quite a full size ax because I don't need all that when I'm out on, on a day hike or going out with my haversack or a light backpack I just need a, um, a hatchet and my little Gransford Brooks that I take out with me sometimes this is just a little too small it doesn't have a you know it's a short handle this is 19 inches so 
you definitely can get some swing with it. And of course, you know, it's a tomahawk, I can throw it. So that's fun too, that's just another thing I can do. And maybe uh, if I'm feeling confident today, I'll do some throwing. I'm not much of a tomahawk thrower, but I need to learn and this would be a great, great uh, test of what I've done with this thing. So let's get into it. It's pretty solid wood, it's dry, seasoned for sure. spot here. About the easiest split, splitting method I found, at least for this size. If it's bigger, you can stand it upright and, of course, hit it from the top. But when they're only, you know, two or three inches in diameter, it works pretty well. Feels dry. Ooh, hard. It's a knot right there. I'll flip it around. There we go. You know, she split wood pretty well. Still holding that pretty good. I really like the ergonomics better with that hammer pull cut off. This is always kind of a fun method to try with shavings.
That's doing well. All right, I remembered the hot sauce today. So we're going with uh, some Frank's Red Hot with the uh, chicken rice. Greatest things having in the woods is a plate. Makes life so much easier. Eating off logs and frisbees and into your axe or whatever, but just a cheap plastic plate makes all the difference in the world. And there is the dinner, a steak. I'll throw some rice on here. Chicken and rice is good. All right. Oh, perfect. Pink in the middle. That's the way Daddy likes it. Mmm. <laughs> I'm making yummy sounds. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel, and um, I will be back soon with another video. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, also, please check out prepared-wanderer.com. That's my blog site. And prepared underscore wanderer on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to eating lunch. Thanks for watching.